Galactica has been at Alton Towers for over 20 years and it's undergone a re-theme, the addition of virtual reality which was so successful and especially recently it's gone through a lot and a lot of downtime. The ride seems to break down every other minute. And with the whole of Forbidden Valley being totally transformed into a military base facility-esque thing, what is next? for Galactica. Will it be rethemed again? Will it be replaced? Or will they just put in its place a temporary funfair again? Well today I'm going to talk about the main three options I think could happen to this ride and I might even use my totally insane planet coaster skills to try and bring one of them to life in a game obviously. So if you do enjoy these speculatory videos and you want to see more in the future then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. So then what will happen at Galactica? Where do I begin? I guess if you take it back to when it became Galactica in 2016, of course, they put the VR virtual reality on it. That went down a hit considering they removed it like two years later. But ever since removing that VR, they seem to have taken less and less care into this ride because from like 2020, it has looked so dire. And ever since that planning application came out for Nemesis Reborn to take over that entire Nemesis site, with the same thing but better. There were rumours that started saying that Forbidden Valley might be made better with it, and it certainly was. But then the Nemesis plans gave the questions about Forbidden Valley, and now the questions about Forbidden Valley have turned into questions about air or Galactica. Because let's be honest, Forbidden Valley is now the Phalanx facility, a HQ, a base for the military operation known as the Phalanx. Ah! And as you walk through, you've got the blade, this huge weapon, of course, Nemesis, that containment zone. And if you continue walking, you now have uh, space travel ride. It just doesn't make sense. So unless Alton Towers really want to be mismatched with their theming, uh, I think it's going to change at some point. I mean, it's not even the theme at this rate. The station itself is a little bit grimy. Same with the underground tunnels that never got themed. And the operations on the ride are genuinely quite slow. And it does have a lot of issues. So you've just got to wonder, what is next for this ride? And I reckon three things will happen. Not simultaneously. I mean, like, one of three things will happen. Number one is the safer and cheaper option for towers. And that is to re-theme Galactica to fit military. No track replacement in this option, just a complete overhaul of the theme. I'd absolutely love to see a complete repaint of that track, you know, it's a sort of teal blue colour now with grey support, because that goes with the red of the rest of Forbidden Valley. So unless they want to keep a calmer approach to this side of it, I reckon they will go for a sort of red and black colour scheme, maybe dark red track with grey supports. Wouldn't that look lovely? Or you could even have black track with hand-painted red veins running down it. I've never seen that before. If you painted the trains black on that, you could then pretty much market that as a phalanx escape unit, like a fighter jet flying through the sky to escape. I don't know what I was going to say. And you know, for Pinham Valley, when you walk in, it has a helicopter. Why not down the further end? You put a fighter jet. Great ideas from the complex minds of my own. Maybe even some near misses as you go around, like, I don't know, broken telephone poles or something. A bit like the swarm, although please don't give us another billboard, we have enough of them now. But you could make a very heavily themed station area underground in that sort of section that it's already in. Having like a private airport HQ place where the planes take off and there's like departure boards or loads of control panels around and that would be beautiful. And it would definitely bring some life back into that ride. I think anything would at this point. But yeah, there's a lot of possibilities for that re -theme. What I don't think is so possible is a retrack. They only seem to retrack very iconic roller coasters, signature attractions that sort of made a statement when they were made. So Nemesis in this instance was retracked because it is so highly regarded in the UK and even around the globe. If they had gotten rid of that, oh my god, the world would have gone wild. However, when it comes to Galactica getting retracked, it doesn't really hold that iconic status. Yeah, sure, it's a fun ride, it's got a relaxing feel to it, has some good elements, but it's just not many people's favourite. And if you rank it against most flyers in the world, let alone other coasters, no one really seems to talk about it much. But if they did end up retracking it through some mad alternate universe, then it would probably be a huge overhaul like Nemesis had, where they completely retheme it, completely change the colour scheme, the storyline, and then fit it into that phalanx theme. So basically, do what I was saying with the re-theme, plus change the track so it's smoother. Which would be a cool thing, but it would cost a lot of money, and I don't personally see that happening at all. However, the one thing I really hope does happen, and I pray, 
At least you sit there every single day and think, this needs to happen. The option to remove the ride and replace it with something brand new. If I said this 10 years ago, my nine-year-old self would be crying. But I think that's the best idea because genuinely that space has so much potential with it. And Galactica, yes, it's supposed to be a slow, relaxing ride, but towers are up in their game. They built Wicker Man. Well, before that, they built the Smiler, then Wicker Man, then Nemesis Reborn. We're then going to get Project Horizon, which seems to be some sort of family indoor roller coaster. I don't know. So we need another staple thrill attraction. They need an extremely long in duration coaster that you get off every time and you are speechless after it. My idea is to replace Galactica with a really, really good, a punchy, very long Intamin multi-launch. I know some people said that they'd rather see Rita replaced by one of them, but... I'm not waiting for Rita to go. Galactica, do it there. Like I said with the fighter jet thing, you could genuinely have those trains as fighter jets and you could still escape as part of the Seek the Truth clan or something. And on the way, you get spotted by the phalanx. I don't know. You could literally have the station exactly where Galacticus is and it would just sort of turn around the corner, go into a launch and... Uh, I really want to make that in Planet Coaster now, so I'm going to go do that. Whoa! As you can see in front of me, we've got Galactica. I built this ages ago um, for a competition to build here. And this time we're building here. Let's begin. Well, that was a speedy launch. Look at that. And look, we're partially making our way back towards the car park like it does in person. In person. In real life. And I reckon for Alton Towers, it wouldn't be too difficult to sort of, from here, dig a little bit further into the ground so we can get some more height on this thing. Because I'm not sticking to that height. That is so small, it's unbelievable. And now we go into our second launch. How fast is this one going to go, do you reckon? Should we make it go 150 miles an hour? So this bit here that is a picnic area now, I guess, uh, I'm just going to act like it's not there. And that it's now ride area. So this section here, of course, you used to go round on Galactica, come out of that tunnel there and go round gliding over the pathway and then down into the barrel roll down towards this section here. But instead, I've made it come round, delete the picnic area and it's going to come round here and do a really cool and fast outer bank. I quite like that little moment. And we're sort of going where the fly to lie section... No, the, li the lie to fly section is now. Yeah. But once it goes through these back-to-back -back barrel rolls right here, or corkscrews, either or, it's then going to go into a booster launch over an airtime hill, and we're going to go up into a really long zero-g stall, and it's just going to hang there. And I think we've got to reuse that portal element. Um, I don't... Is that above the tree line? That looks like it's below that tree there. We're sorted, we're fine. This might be the worst ending to a roller coaster ever. There we go, that is Galactica, but now different. If I had more time, I probably would have changed quite a bit more of it. But you know, I like it. And I hope you like it too. Here is the POV. Watch it. For decades.